All right, bro. I you don't gotta donate, but I mean. Ah, shit. Specialist is too fucking old. Dude, I was running. Dude, these kids couldn't even fucking compete, dog. Literally, I, I was stunning myself, and then these kids are just... <laughs> I just put an eight in a lead. Throw some Jolly Rancher in, make it sweeter. Versace my clothes, I... Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day start today. Whatever time it may be, if you guys can shoot for 300 likes on today's video, that'd be greatly appreciated. You already know what this is. The 17 best class setups as well as some of the best specialist loadouts you guys can run within Kyle War 2 after the new 1.18 update. You guys already know, every time they do an update video, I always like to make an updated class setup video. That's gonna be on the specialist loadout as well as some other regular class setups because I've made Made some changes I'm also going to be uploading a different video on some more class setups later on uh, because there is some differences that I'm gonna be making but this video is gonna be geared to some you know general good class setups as well as some specialist loadouts that I like to run you know the best three basic trainings unlock right before you get that specialist bonus which gives you all the basic trainings let's get right into it now my first class setup is gonna be the Springfield now you guys already know I like to snipe on this game when I play on maps like Gustav Cannon or Aachen. I always follow the sniper, run it with ballistic CPU, FMJ as well as extended mags, expeditionary with lookouts. So you have unlimited ammunition, unlimited explosives, and you kind of have the bigger mini map and the marksman perk effect from out over three. Fantastic sniper class setup. I had the same exact class setup for my Springfield, same exact class setup for my Car 98K and my same exact class setup for the PTRS-41. Now, across all the snipers, I believe the PTRS is the best sniper in the entire game. If you guys are unaware, there actually is a contract within the orders where you can actually go ahead and unlock the PTRS for 5,000 armory credits. All you have to do is get 50 sniper rifle kills. So I highly recommend you guys go ahead and getting this done because the PTRS-41, in my opinion, is the best sniper in the entire game because it has a infinite one shot range so you're never going to get hit markers unless somebody is behind cover but some most times it's going to be a one shot so that's why i like the ptrs you don't have to worry about getting hit markers and it's just a fantastic sniper rifler after all and my other class up is going to be on the ppsh duck soup 2 now this is going to be my blitzkrieg class setup you guys see this a lot I like to run this class setup in free for all as well as in gridiron, CTF. I'm trying to get a lot of kills, get an easy vicious metal, or go ahead and get like a B2 rocket with a high kill streak. I'm gonna pull out my Expeditionary Blitzkrieg class setup. Pretty much the same loadout, uh, just PPS8 with quick draw, extended mag, as well as rapid fire, uh, Bettys and stuns to lock down the spawns and to keep, keep people out of areas that you guys do not want them to go into. Because I already know a lot of people like to camp on this game. so. If you guys start on a Betty in the high traffic areas where people camp at, you'll be surprised how many kills you guys can rack up easily within this game. Also on this exact same class setup on the Grease Gun Candy, another fantastic SMG. Honestly, my second favorite SMG in the entire game. It's really, really good. It goes hard. So I recommend you guys go ahead and checking this class setup out as well. The class setup I'm running is going to be the mp40 now i actually dropped quick draw off i put advanced rifling because we have advanced rifle mp40 it just feels like it's an absolute monster uh, advanced rifling extended mag as well as rapid fire extra dictionary with Bliss creek unlimited ammo you guys already know the drill why i run this it's just very easy kill streaks and you just can just go off and just destroy people another class i'd like to run is going to be the lewis land ship 2 now this is going to be the lewis class setup that I have with Butch, you guys see this class setup a lot as well. If I'm gonna be sitting back, just picking enemies off from the Lewis with FMJ, extended mag, as well as rapid fire. Fantastic class setup, you already know. Uh, it's a monster. You guys have probably seen so many gameplays of me using this class setup. So many, you know, long streaks. I would recommend checking this out. It's an absolute beast. Another setup I have to run is going to be the Lewis with the Escalation basic training. Now this is kind of where everything kind of makes a turn and I'm starting to use a lot of the newer basic trainings. Now, what Escalation does is allows you to, after you get a kill, uh, you get to aim down sights a little bit faster and multi-kills are gonna instantly refill your magazine. Now, if you guys are playing on the sh like the small maps like Shipment, essentially you never have to reload. Now, I might add that you have to run Expeditionary with Escalation. Escalation does not resupply your ammunition 
it's actually gonna be pulling from your reserve. So technically, if you are spraying and praying, you're gonna be running out of ammo a lot faster. So if you guys run Expeditionary, it resupplies your ammunition over time. So it is very advantageous to couple these together. You will have infinite ammo. If you guys buy pod up with Escalation, you seriously never have to reload ever at all in the game. It's a filth, it's disgusting. The class setup is broke, it's that good. Now the class setup I'm gonna be showing you guys is gonna be the armored blitzkrieg, you guys know if I'm playing enemies that are nading and just being annoying or maybe even better enemies, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out because you have less flinch, less explosive um, damage done to you and less tactical equipment damage done to you. So that's kind of like why I like to run armored, same exact stuff, FMJ, because armored stacked with FMJ, you can shoot through the entire map and it's really, really good. All I like to run is armed with escalation. Like I said, if I'm playing people that are being annoying, spamming grenades, escalation with armored is good. Even though it does chew through your ammo really fast, you will be able to get some clutch plays and kills just because you're gonna be able to essentially never reload until you just run dry in your magazine and you just pick somebody else's gun up and just go ham with that. Another class that I'm gonna be showing you guys is gonna be Expeditionary with the STG, another good class setup. I like the STG a lot. Probably one of my favorite rifles. Uh, grip as well as extended mag and rapid fire. Blitzkrieg, you know, you guys have seen countless V2 rockets, countless kills with the setup. You guys already know the drill. STG, fantastic. Another class setup is gonna be the Expeditionary Blitzkrieg with the bar. The bar is nerfed, but <laughs> they still can't fix it, man. It's still amazing. Recommend you guys go ahead and checking it out. I'm starting to really, really enjoy the bar again, so might as well go ahead and put a class setup with the bar and just, you know, destroy people. It's fantastic. Dude up two, you know, cool hand two, whatever you guys wanna run, doesn't matter. It's just a fantastic weapon. Another class setup that I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be my Expeditionary Specialist class setup. Now here is when I'm gonna be throwing in the best specialist loadouts. I like to run this with the PPSH. I like to run advanced rifling, extended mag, as well as rapid fire. You guys can probably notice that I actually took off a quick draw on this class setup, and I have a reason for that. Now the reason why specialist is so good with expeditionary is because you actually unlock saboteur when you get your specialist bonus at 800 score. Now I know in the patch notes it says you do not get saboteur, but in game when I'm playing, I can tell that I have Saboteur because my Bettys are detonating faster and I'm able to blow up the stun grenades at a shorter radius. So it's really, really good. I really recommend you guys go ahead and keeping this as your loadout. Now the reasoning behind my basic trainings and the best three basic trainings to unlock automatically before you get your specialist are gonna be clandestine, flanker, as well as hunker. Now the reason I like to run clandestine as my first unlock is because the specialist basic training runs free for all. If you guys are unaware, clandestine allows you to pick up an intel pack from killed enemies that are gonna show a radar bubble in the general area if there's people that get picked up in it. Now, if you guys are unaware, this is pretty much an ability on the resistance division, and that's kind of why the resistance division is actually fantastic and free for all. You can actually have that ability with expeditionary. So if you're thinking about it, once you kill somebody, if you're kind of running a rotating spawn trap like how to do in free for all where you're pretty much going between three to four spawn points you can essentially have a 24 7 radar as long as you're getting kills and picking up the radar pack and seeing them in real time when they're popping up it's fantastic i really do recommend you guys checking out clandestine it is an absolutely underrated basic training and it's filthy on the specialist loadout that's kind of why i get it at 200 kills now the second unlock I like to get is gonna be the flanker basic training. Now what flanker allows you to do is not only are you invisible for the UAVs, but you can run straight through any equipment like the Bettys and without them blowing up immediately. So that's kind of why I like to run flank. You guys already know a lot of people like myself use bouncing Bettys to lock down a spawn point. If you have on flanker, you can run straight through this and people, believe me, will never expect you to have this because you have the specialist. So you can really make some disgusting plays when you have flanker. It's absolutely amazing. You're gonna be seeing in a lot of my V2 Rocket gameplays with specialists, I'm running through people's Bettys and just surprising them. They have no idea what's going on. Now, the third basic training unlock like to pick up is gonna be hunker, obviously, because you don't wanna be dying from explosives. Odds are in free for all, once you're starting to get on a streak, people me throwing grenades, people gonna be throwing tacticals, is gonna be really advantageous for you guys to have hunker on. Now, once you get the specialist bonus, 
you can start making some ridiculous plays with this class setup. Another class setup to run is gonna be the same exact thing with the grease gun. Pretty much the same perks, fantastic. Also, I might add, when you get the specialist bonus, you're gonna be getting the basic training called escalation and what escalation allows you to do is you pretty much have built-in quick draw after every single kill so you can snap aim on enemies without having to have quick draw on it so that's kind of why i drop quick draw off my class setup another class setup i like to run with this is going to be the armored uh pretty much division with specialist same thing what you want to run is clandestine flanker and then you can go ahead and swap out hunker for forge because obviously armor division already has hunker but it is going to stack once you get the bonus so you're pretty much going to be impervious to stun grenades impervious to grenades it's fantastic and i highly recommend you guys go ahead and checking it out also I like to run this with the lewis now this is a disgusting class setup i highly recommend you guys checking this out i don't really like to run specialists with too many weapons besides smgs but the lewis is definitely that exception on maps like shipment with the specialist bonus on the Lewis, it's filthy. You guys can go ahead and run clandestine, flanker, and then look out. Doesn't really matter for this class because the Lewis is so good. And since, you know, with the LMG, you're kind of be picking people off from, from far away. Having lookout, having flanker as well as clandestine, obviously is going to be a really good class setup. So if anybody you know, is in your general air, you can just run up the intel pack. See if anybody's going to be flanking you. Um, obviously, they're going to be picked up on the radar. And it's just an amazing class setup that I recommend you guys go ahead and checking out. Now the final 17 class setup I'm gonna be showing you guys is gonna be the STG, uh, pretty much the same exact class setup as my PPSH class setup, clandestine, flanker, as well as hunker. Check these class setups out. Also, what you guys can do with specialists is if you guys are getting rushed by multiple enemies, since you're gonna have a essentially tactical mass built in with that basic training, you can actually stun yourself and it'll do absolutely nothing to you, but everybody else around you is gonna get stunned. So you can get yourself out of some sticky situations. You guys are gonna see in today's video that I'm making some plays and pissing a lot of people off doing this. It's fantastic. A lot of people do not expect it, and I highly recommend you guys go ahead and checking this out. Hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Let me know what you guys think of the specialist basic trainings, the specialist loadouts. Let me know if you guys have any V2 rockets running specialists. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, if you guys think it's overpowered, if you guys think it's underpowered, if you think it's just right. All we need in the game is going to be an advanced UAV and we'll be all set and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my settings as well in today's video because you guys always ask me on that button layout. It's going to be tactical. Stick layout is going to be default. Look inversion is going to be disabled. Horizontal sensitivity is going to be 4. Vertical sensitivity is going to be 5. Disabled, enabled, 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 disabled, and disabled. Hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Like I said, let's shoot for 300 likes and hope you guys do enjoy a little V2 Rocket gameplay. I'll help you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Fit your boy ears, and I'll catch you guys later. Deuce. Takes it so takes a long to unlock. You're talking about the ZK? It does take a little bit. See you on clandestine, boss. Shit. 
I'm just running around with fucking specials right now. Oh shit. All right, bro. I you don't gotta donate, but I mean, <laughs> ah, shit. Specialist is too fucking old, dude. I was running, dude. These kids couldn't even fucking compete, dog. Literally, I I was stunning myself, and then these kids are. Just <laughs> ah, damn. They couldn't even compete, bro. I love specialist. So I can do that with Expeditionary. I can just straight stun myself if there's like people around me and my stun doesn't do shit to me, but they're fucked. Uh